So first and foremost, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say hello, and I hope everyone is doing well. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Wendell Turner, and I just want to let you guys know, first and foremost, do you know how lucky you are to be on this call? Because what I'm about to share with you, you've entered the club of the top 5%, the top 5% of America. You're about to learn how to play the financial game like the big boys do. This isn't something you can Google on the internet and find. This isn't advertised. You have to know someone to get into this club of the top 5% of America. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm talking about things like your personal credit doesn't even matter. Doesn't matter if you have a zero for a FICO score, it doesn't matter. Tax returns, doesn't matter. What matters is how we set up your business. And like Troy stated, People will argue with you that, well, Mr. Turner, if you have a new company, there's no way you can get this type of money and funding out of the gate. Well, I, I can tell you from experience, if you've heard that before, that person didn't know what he or she was talking about. What matters is one, how your company set up, you, if you want to play the part, you have to look the part. Business, business address, website, the whole nine yards. These are things you probably already know. But I'm going to get into some of the meats and potatoes of what really makes this work. Now, Troy reiterated on it a little when he was talking about the stock investor. In order to make this work, First and foremost, you have to have a net worth of over $500 million, liquid. Not, not homes, cars, I'm talking over $500 million, liquid. That's the only way that you'll be able to report to the Securities and Exchange Commission. So if Joe or Sally decided they wanted to do this, the SEC would flag them down. Well, we give your company value by having our stock investor. He's going to loan you 5 million shares of his stock. Now, the purpose of this is to give your company a value of over $100 million. And how are we going to prove that your company is worth over $100 million? Well, we're going to have Experian appraise your company for over $100 million. That's after our stock investor has assigned 5 million shares of stock to your company. Now, once this stock investor assigns those 5 million shares of stock to your company, we're going to do something better. We're going to have our stock transfer agent who is certified by the government to report said stocks to the Securities and Exchange Commission. Now, you're in the big leagues now because what happens after all of this is done and once we have our certified CPA do your financials, your company will then be taken to Dun and Bradstreet and have a complete business profile set up with certified financials. Now, what happens when we take your company to funding? I can guarantee you, whether it be Bank of America, U.S. Bank, Wells Fargo, they're going to go to the Securities and Exchange Commission to see if they can find your company. Once they find your company and everything is certified, guess what, ladies and gentlemen? They don't care about you. They don't care about your three FICO scores. They don't care about 
your tax returns. They don't care about any of that. What we're doing, this is going to put you into a new category. This is going to put you in a division of a bank that's called the wealth management division. Now, if you've never heard of that, not a problem. I'm going to give you an idea what's going to happen once we get your company funded. Once your company's funded, the average person probably doesn't know once you have a million to 1.5 million in your bank account, you're probably going to receive a phone call from someone from your bank. They're going to tell you, you know what, Mr. And Mrs. Thompson, do you mind coming into the bank today? Now, I know most of us, we're going to get nervous and not want to go. But trust me, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a great thing, actually. What they're going to do, once your company is funded and you start purchasing and doing business this way, you're not going to walk into a bank anymore and stand in line. You're not, those days will be long gone. What you're going to be doing when you want to purchase, say, a piece of real estate, you want to buy a house under your business, you want to buy a fleet of cars, a fleet of trucks, you're going to just pick up the phone and you are going to have an assigned banker that you call. Hey, Tom, hey, I'm interested in buying uh, two 750 BMWs. Okay, uh, when can you come in and sign the paperwork? Not when can we run your credit? Uh, do we have, uh, do you have tax returns? Those days are long gone. What we're talking about now and what Terry has been trying to explain to you, you're going to operate in a different way. One that's going to be new to you, but do not be afraid. It's a great thing. One thing I can tell you, when you start handling this type of money, you have to recondition your mind, Re retrain your mind, because you're going to do things in a different way now. And once you receive this money, do me a favor. We want to protect our sources. So what I'm saying is once you get the money, make your payments, and when you make your payments, one thing is going to happen. You're going to find out that 10 more doors open and people are just going to be handing you money hand over fist. Make your payments and you can do this as many times as you want. Let me ask uh, the majority of your question. Have you ever wondered when you see an immigrant, whether they're from Southeast Asia, Africa, wherever, and when you see them or you hear them, most can't speak English very well, but yet they own dentist offices, laundry cleaners, donut shops. You ever wondered why they were so smart? Well, I can tell you the answer is they're not smarter than you are. They're not smarter than neither of us. They just know what I'm telling you now, what the top 5% have been using uh, since before my time. And I can tell you, I was born in 1965. And what we're doing now, it's been around long before that. So this is nothing new. And this is nothing you're not going to Google on the internet. As a matter of fact, the people in the know, they're tight-lipped about it because once they know it, they know if they let it out to the masses that it won't last very long. It will be destroyed. So when I started this conversation off, I, I told you, you just don't know how lucky you really are because what Troy has been explaining to you and what I'm talking about this is called corporate funding. I know a lot of you have heard about business funding. Well, there's a big difference between the two. Most of us, we're aware of business funding. Business funding, you can go out 
and you can buy some trade lines for your business, but guess what? It'll report to your business, but they're still going to check your personal credit. So I, I guess my question is, if they're going to check your personal credit and base it off the personal credit, you're still going to have to personally guarantee it. Why do you need to buy trade lines for business funding? What we do, it's called corporate funding. Your business does not need trade lines. You will never PG it. They will never check your personal credit. They will never ask you for tax returns. This is the type of funding that Troy is talking about. This is what I do. So again, this is not, it's not for everyone. And I can tell you, it doesn't matter if you have, you can have an idea so great, you know it's going to work. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you one, one thing. 100% 1 of the time, lack of money will stop people dead in their tracks from starting any kind of business. Doesn't matter how great your idea is, if you don't have the funds to launch it or start it, it will never happen. So what I'm telling you right now, once you get these funds, you utilize these funds, it doesn't matter if you're buying real estate, you're investing in tax liens, whatever. I'm going to leave you with this. Utilizing what I'm talking about from this day forward, if you're broke, it's because you choose to be broke.